Hello everybody, my name is Edging Raptor and today we're going to have a look at the armor of this newest beast in the world of tanks. Thingies. And it is the Judas 15-16 and today I'm going to go through different tanks to shoot at it and show you what are the weak spots, what are the things you should look forward to and if other different tactics are actually useful and if those boxes behind here are actually armor and spoiler alert yes they are and another funny little thing is don't forget this part right here is also very weak 20 millimeters thick so in theory you could hit that and even out or almost out of pen it or have free caliber rule on it however the first tank we are going to go against is the Jack Tiger 88 and before you're going to say but raging you are drinking Jack Tiger 88 why you fucking clickbait re let me explain okay guys the Jack Tiger 88 is one of those tanks which has now 212 millimeters of penetration if it would show right here well let's just um, get our all beloved tanks.gg to actually show it to you so you believe in me it has 212 millimeters of penetration after they buffed it some bad patches ago which is still pretty trash for a tier 8 td but it is what it is 212 you can see it right there and I can't really take every single medium tank in that game because right now I'm taking the Jack Tiger 88 to roughly simulate a tier 8 medium tank with 212 millimeters of penetration and I can't take every single medium tank so I decided to go for this one because it has a faster reload, a quicker aim time and a more accurate gun meaning that less shots go haywire and obviously it is a little bit more accurate um, it goes faster because we have better dpm than any other tier 8 medium tank if you don't believe me well then um, yes here we have all <coughs> tier 8 medium tanks in the game which without duplicates like t44 fl and so on and it, uh, there's all 35 tanks so we summed it all up and we did a calculation summed it everything up divided by the amount of tanks we had 35 and we get an get an average of 205 millimeters of penetration which yes is a little bit higher but then again i took tanks into account every single one meaning i took tanks into account like the type 95 which pulls the average down t34 free and Zucker pershing which is also kind of pulling the average down anyway this is my reasoning why i took the jack tiger 88 i hope you're fine with that if not i'm sorry you gotta watch yourself how the tank is going to be armored and the first thing you will notice even though right here our um, udas is standing at a pretty decent hold down position this upper front plate is still relatively weak it's 60 millimeters thick and the angle is not that good to be totally honest you can see this is the 60 millimeter plate means even the object uh, the fv183 as well as the fv4005 stage 2 have auto pen on this upper front plate part the lower plate this will also be the last time i'm going to shoot at it because it <coughs> is incredibly weak you could see it is 70 millimeters thick and the only thing which could hold it off is a lucky bounce when it comes to the cupolas the cupolas on both sides are kind of trollish to use you can see right here i'm now at double speed to give you a little bit of an overview the big problem with those cupolas is that you have to be pretty precise where you hit plus the cupolas themselves are 200 millimeters thick so yes it works as a weak spot but it's not the best you can have to shoot at to be honest and here so you can just see it, this is the plate right here which i was talking about this is the 200 millimeter thick plate and yeah this is like the biggest problem there you can see it again this 200 millimeter plate so and yes this 100 millimeter up there could also work but then again it is at a steeper angle you can see it goes through to up to 228 millimeters of armor and when we look down it's around 300 and the cupola part the small one is around 200 millimeters still so cupolas on both sides you can see they are roughly equal size even they might be equal size with the right one being a little bit higher up but this is also due to this thicker part over here where but both have the same amount of armor so as a lowered tiered opponent 
you might come into problems with that, to be honest, which is obviously not that cool to have. Here I try to see if, <coughs> if I can somewhere penetrate um, the turret, but I can already tell you that it's no worth to shoot with the Jack Tiger 88 or if a tier 8 medium tank anywhere on the gun or on the turret except for the cupolas maybe one thing though which is pretty interesting is if for example this guy is looking downwards onto your lower plate or your upper front plate or who knows where and he exposes this big chunk of gun metal it's an easy free damage shot for you because this plate up here is only 20 millimeters thick as you can see right here which is pretty darn neat and you can see also where other 20 millimeters parts are spoiler alert this one over here is also very useful in my personal opinion if the enemy uses over peaks so let's go to the next tank this time we are on the map airfield to roughly make once more the hold down experience for the enemy and airfield can be a map where you will see the udas being hold down so yeah now we are in our e5 though because well i kind of skipped over tier 8 heavies because in the end you are going to penetrate the lower plate of the udas you have the chance to penetrate the cupolas and yeah and if you shoot gold, it's roughly around the penetration rate of this tank over here, our E5, which has 258 base penetration. And roughly the penetration rate of tier 8 heavies is around 265, if I am not mistaken, 260, 250, around this kind of thing. So yeah. Now we try our best with shooting at the turret and once again I can assure you guys shooting at the turret front is basically impossible. Right now you can see once again if the enemy Udes is playing not smart and shows a tiny touch of his um, upper front plate you could see we easily penetrate it. Now I'm searching for a little cheeky shot where I might be able to bounce into somewhere of the... Um, it's called of the inner radius of the gun mantlet which could work but doesn't and even the thick like the the less angle cupola part is still pretty strong so when you are not shooting features or premium rounds you will have a big problem anyway here is the spot i was talking about you saw that i penetrated him for damage and even tracked him and this is once again due to the fact that you can hit the wheels as well as this chunk of metal up here. And if you take the whole armor again, you can see this is a really thin sliver of armor. Up it's 50 millimeters and below it's 20 millimeters. It's an incredibly useful spot to shoot at, in my personal opinion, if the enemy Judas is playing not well. And you can see this is where we penetrated basically. We hit the wheel. Um, you can see the snot, the snot, excuse me, the shot is really weirdly looking because it is in such a steep angle but again it's 20 millimeters the armor is not going to hold off anything with a caliber over 60 millimeters <coughs> so that's a really nifty little weak spot you can try to shoot at right now though we missed our shot with the, at the cupola once more ah, now we hit though we are lucky to penetrate and now we are loading the skill rounds heat is loaded and still you can see it is a little bit problematic but if the enemy Judas is showing like aiming at your cupola for example you can in theory shoot at the gun breach and obviously damage the gun because <coughs> unlike the tier 9 vehicle which you are going to look at another day this gun breach is flat on it kind of looks like it wouldn't be flat on in my personal experience or opinion if you look at it like this but Basically, it might be a mistake by the modelers, but this part over here, this whole gun breach thingy or gun holding in placement thingy is not part of the damage model, as you can see here. And it's just flat 280 millimeters of armor, meaning when we have heat with 340 millimeters of penetration rate, it's a pretty easy job on penetrating. The cupolas or the thick Part of the cupola, however, is still impressively strong, and you should not try to go for. We needed now like four shots to penetrate, and obviously also a big thank you to Toxic in that kind of regard. 
because um, he gave us his tank to use. Yes, the cupola is still pretty thick. It is 160 millimeters thick, but again, please do not forget, it is at a pretty darn steep angle, giving it impressive armor values in my personal experience and in my personal opinion. And the good thing is <coughs> nothing at the turret front is able to be overmatched by any caliber of gun, except obviously I already talked about this gun breach part up here. So let's go to the next tank. The next tank will be the new tank itself, the Judas 40, 15 Alt, 16, excuse me. 15 for 16, there we go. We once more want to see how this tank performs and this tank has the problem that it has APCR as standard rounds plus a slightly worse penetration rate than the E5. And you can see this nerf in autobahn, um, autobahn, excuse me, normalization angles, AP normalizes by five degrees while APCR only normalizes by uh, what's um, two degrees we are starting to bounce on this upper hole plate part because of the worse angle so keep that in mind yet still don't forget the cupolas are still impressively strong and hard to hit you need to hit this 200 millimeter spot frontally otherwise you will have a problem once more i tried to go for some sneaky shots maybe in a gun mantlet <coughs> trying to penetrate once more here it is easily to hit 20 millimeter spot giving him um, giving us once more an impressively easy way to penetrate this tank if he over peaks you can see those two shots are very much elongated but they perfectly hit nevertheless so now we still have apcr loaded one more shot into cupola it was a little bit easier we hit it better now we have heat loaded um, yes, the thick part of the cupola over there is basically yeah non-existent for us. And now you can see we were able once more to penetrate the gun breach part, the flat gun breach part. And because we have heat loaded, this upper plate part shouldn't be a big problem for us to penetrate. Now we get a little bit closer to see... <coughs> Yeah, here we got the problem of the auto bounce angles. It's 50 millimeters of armor, meaning with a gun like this, we have problems penetrating. Now we reloaded some APCR shells to just demonstrate that to you. And you can see we have a pretty hard time penetrating. If we load heats though, which have a much greater angle of auto bounce or auto reflection, they will start to penetrate sooner or later. If we get lucky, well, lucky we did not got. And finally, we killed the enemy Judas with the fifth heat shot. Let's go to the next tank to explain you about, I think it was the calibers. The next tank is the Gorilla 15 with its epic 15 centimeter gun, which has 276 millimeters of penetration, if I'm not mistaken, base and 334 with heat. Now it will be interesting if we finally start to be able to penetrate this thick part of the cupola. <coughs> Lower plate, obviously no problem. The upper front plate, depending where we hit, we hit a rather low, meaning we were able to penetrate, but still, depending on the angle, this upper plate can bounce shots like here. So, now it is so if we can actually penetrate this cupola part, but we need to be lucky with a high penetrating roll to actually get it. Going for the cupola one or the small or the real cupola is a little bit harder. The bulge, however, yeah, it needs a little bit of luck with our AP rounds. Now, I just want to show you, I'm, I have AP loaded and we still can't penetrate this upper plate or this deck armor here, but if we still shoot AP, we have no troubles here. You can see green. Well, now we got a little bit unlucky because we um, hit up there, but usually we shouldn't have a big deal penetrating over here with AP. There we go, as easy as that. And also for the people wondering, no, this part over here, or rather those um, few ports of the driver, they are not part of the model, as you can see here. So no worries for that. And again, here was just this 100 millimeters plate. We got a little bit unlucky here. The angle was too steep, so we auto bounced, but lower it is much easier to hit. So now we have heat, however, loaded to just show you that you can sh or should be able to penetrate the upper um, deck armor because he has much better out of bounds angles. So yeah, we are still have heat loaded and 
there we go we got lucky with penetrating and we got through his upper front plate if you're not sure if i'm cheating or not let's see if it works out here's once more the bounce and now we still have heat loaded bow down down there you can see and there we go through the upper deck armor because of the heat's better auto bounce angles of 85 degrees compared to the 70 degrees of ap and apcr on to the next tank the next tank which we have here is the object 268 version 4 not because of its in well decent 293 millimeters of ap penetration and 360 heat penetration but rather because of its caliber the caliber is <coughs> 152 millimeters thick meaning that this tank finally can penetrate the uh, deck armor or engine armor of this tank and well if you still try to shoot anywhere except for this cupola part we still have troubles to penetrate excuse me the cupola bulge part other than that it is still pretty hard for us to penetrate even as a tier 10 tank destroyer so now you can see we are aiming for this <coughs> excuse me for this um, engine deck part and we easily penetrate it with ap shells now however we are loading the heats and let's see how it goes when we are once more shooting at the upper plate armor i'm getting at a better angle to not um, by accident penetrate him but it's just to show you that here you can even see the marker is red and the shot goes haywire. And as soon as we once more load our AP shells, it goes green. Also, just as a and yes, you can also penetrate here. It's like 20 millimeters thick, but I'm going to show that in just a second. Bada bam, bada boom, and he is a gunner with AP. Easy pens on this engine deck with a heat not so really when you have the big caliber guns also something which i want to quickly note is compared to the tier 9 vehicle this tank has 50 millimeters of side armor meaning yes guys you are right it also can bounce up to the 150 millimeter guns where meanwhile our dear friend on tier 9 gets penetrated easily by well is guns with 122 millimeters of caliber but yeah, that's what I wanted to show you about this. <coughs> now let's look at some other tank. Now we are on our way with the tier 9 wheelie boy EBR90, which also has 90 millimeters of HE penetration. Now I want to show you where are the weaker parts of this armor, which is also in my opinion quite an important thing to know. So the first thing first, which I already showed you before, you can easily penetrate this part over here. It's 20 millimeters thick, the same as the turret roof armor. And yeah, that's just as a small thing right here. And as soon as you get a little bit more behind of the turret, you can also easily penetrate it with HE. Now the question is, in this angle, we don't sadly penetrate because we got a little bit unlucky with our penetration rolls. But yes, back here, back of the turret, also easy penetrating. So this tank hates to get shot at with HE. Now the question is, do these parts over here? Well, yes, they do count as spaced armor. The plates up here are 5mm thick, while the canisters, as far as I remember, should be 40, actually. They're actually 40mm thick. No, oh, they're 20mm thick, excuse me. Here we have it, the boxes, they are depending where you hit are 40 millimeters thick they're actually quite um sophisticated modeled and this can actually help you when there is a wheelie boy behind you because <coughs> right now we still we are reloading a heat shell because usually heats have troubles penetrating spaced armor the only big problem right here is that the part back here is very weak, like 90 millimeters, of, uh, 30 millimeters of weakness. So you need to be lucky where you are able to hit. Now I'm making the angle a little bit worse to show you that you can also bounce here. And we hit right here. So let's just get out of the tank and do some wishing to try and find where we penetrated. So we go through this layer, you can see ah, there's the hole, we go further, another heat hole, another, and another one. 
and another one. And finally we are here and this is actually still part of the damage model but because we had to go through so much stuff and so much distance the heat shot simply vanished and we were not able to penetrate. If we um, look once more it would be around here and back here we definitely have very weak armor 30 millimeters of armor to be precise. So yeah just don't shoot heat at those back pots, I would <coughs> say. <coughs> Another heat shot just for good measure. You can see we are not able to penetrate. And well, one more, I guess, for good measure. Yes, I think now we are finished. Now we are reloading the good old AP shots and we have no problems killing the Judas 15-16. That's pretty darn neat just so you know be a little bit on the watch out when you play the wheelie boys and want to penetrate this tank rather go for the apcrs than for the he's because you actually need to aim very much to pen this tank properly so the last tank going up against the Udius is the he monstrosity itself the f34005 stage 2 obviously in its nerfed um state so it has to be noted we right <coughs> night now had HE loaded and we could easily penetrate this upper front plate part and the lower plate front part obviously. Also if you would shoot AP you should have no troubles penetrating this part of the upper front plate because it is a uh, you've guessed it well I actually forgot that name it's auto pen or not auto pen but you free match uh, overmatch rule there we go also if you shoot now for the cupola with ap you shouldn't have too big of be a problems however you will still have troubles to penetrate this 100 millimeter very steeply angled spots so now we have he loaded and you can see we could in theory penetrate up here with he depending on the numbers but it has to be a lucky high rod Sadly it didn't happen, but 875 damage is still a decent chunk of HP. And one thing again, which I need to know, this tank actually hates HE, this one over here. We just shoot at the turret and we deal 880 damage. Why did we do 880 damage? You might ask yourself. Quite easy to explain, I just have to reload it again to see the proper armor parts. I already told you, this part over here is 40 millimeters thick, this one up here is 20 millimeters thick. If you shoot here, the HE will splash up here, here or here and searches the spot where it deals the most damage. This is due to the HE calculations or maybe even this part over here which is 20 millimeters thick. Overall guys, you have it incredible easy to shoot HE against those tanks. I went <coughs> into depth more on the tier 9 vehicle I kind of missed the opportunity right here but again if you want to murder this tank HE should be the way to go now however we have an AP loaded just for the funsies we sadly hit the gun part right there and now let's just finish this off with a epic well not really ram so that was it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comment section what you think and let me know what I could done to better. For the next episode, which isn't the tier 9 vehicle, let me know what tank it could be and what tanks you want to see fighting against those vehicles. Here you can also see the big, 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 big engine and my guess would be... <coughs> well, the engine is over here. My guess would be that... This part over here would be fuel tanks and the driver's location over here. Here transmission and this could be also transmission and fuel tanks. Yes, this tank burns a lot when you get hit up here. So keep that also in mind when you play it yourself. My name is Raging Raptor. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you all later. Bye bye.